What is going on guys? Welcome back and in this video it's going to be fairly quick. I'm going to try to make it, you know, crunch it very, very fast. Uh, but we're going to be talking about the tips you need to know when buying from foreign sellers, specifically tires or wheels or whatever, but you know, bulk and containers. So number one, um, well, before we even start, right? Let's not rush, but please help me by smashing that like button, consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. So number one is you wanna find manufacturers. So be careful uh, with those that reach out to you because some of these could just be scam. Uh, again, I'm not saying all of them are, but you know, just be mindful and careful. Do some research, do some research of the brand, make sure the domain matches. Uh, stuff like that. Check if they're already selling in the US. So again, um, if you're reaching out to someone in Alibaba or you found a supplier through a convention or through email, again, ask these questions. Are you currently selling in the US? Uh, you know, uh, personally, if you can meet with someone in person, that would be even better, but sometimes that's hard, you know, if they're, if they're an overseas company. But again, uh, just make sure that they have imported their products into the US because you don't want to be that first customer, that guinea pig that has their container stuck in the port because they ran into some issues. Um, so uh, the other thing would be in finding manufacturers, you want to attend some conventions, right? So SEMA, 2020, uh, SEMA 2023 is coming up in November. It's always in Las Vegas. It's from October 31st to November 2nd. So again, I am going to be actually live in my own booth at SEMA. So if you want to visit, you know, I'll put the booth number here. Uh, you could come and visit, say hi, but uh, conventions are a great way to get to see and know a lot of these manufacturers. So that's a good way to find manufacturers. Second thing you want to know and tip is um, establish direct contact point, right? So once you actually meet a manufacturer, let's say in a convention, if you can have that one person, let's say I met David. Okay, David, I met you. I know you in person. Uh, you know, I'm going to just be dealing with you. And, and I think that always creates a better communication, better service, better expectation. And so again, if you can have a direct point of contact, that's perfect. Again, if you're struggling to find manufacturers or if you don't have a direct point of contact with a specific person in a factory, I do have a handful of companies that I kind of pretty much uh, refer to. Um, I can also help you in a more personalized way, just for a fee, obviously. But if you want just the name of the company that I'm buying or that I work with, uh, or some of them, definitely feel free to reach out to me via email and I can share that with you. Um, also, again, a good way to establish a direct point of contact is if you visit a factory or, again, if you visit a convention. But a factory could help because, again, a trip to China or Thailand sometimes is not that expensive and it really could benefit that, you know, establish that good relationship and it helps you understand how the actual supply chain works. When you go to the factory, you will see that there's a lot of other brands that are being manufactured, uh, not just theirs. And so again, it really gives you a good perspective of how the system works. Tip number three is quality. Don't underestimate quality. Quality is important. So make sure that, again, if you're buying a product that you've never heard of before, make sure you review on reviews, customer complaints, make sure that they're not exploding, that they're not you know, going out of balance. Uh, again, if there's no feedback, then I mean, take the risk if, if you think it's fit, but just keep in mind uh, quality. You know, quality is important at the end of the day, very important. Tip number four is actually placing an order. So uh, again, uh, normally you could place an order with a manufacturer via Excel files. They'll send you an Excel file with all their inventory and what they can produce. You normally type in the amount of quantities that you want and then the Excel file will start telling you how much full your container is and how much left you, space you got. So, uh, you know, placing an order, uh, it's fairly sim simple. Like I said, you just get that Excel file, you fill it, you send it over to your direct point of contact. You make the, the deposit, typically is a 30%. So if you are, uh, let's say, $40,000, $45,000 worth of a container, you're going to be paying around $13,000 to $14,000 of deposit. And then you will have to pay the remaining of the balance before the container arrives at the port. So keep that in mind. Typically, when you place an order, so right now, at the time I'm doing this video, let's say it's uh, July 31st, right? So if I were to place an order right now, they're most likely going to put that order to be produced the following month, so in August. And so August, all month of August, my tires are going to be produced by the factory. The following month, in this case September, they're going to be loaded into a container and shipped, and then it takes around 30 to 45 days for it to be delivered. And so just keep that in mind. Another tip is making sure that you are aware again of the timeline, what I just explained. You know, typically it could, you, you should expect that three months for your container to arrive. 
keep in mind that you're gonna have to pay for it up front. So again, it's cash that you're technically putting um, you know, in, in product that you already paid for. And then also make sure that you're paying, uh, the terms that you're buying containers are DDP, if you don't wanna be dealing with all the tariffs and taxes and all that stuff from the customs, right? From the clearance port. And so if you want FOB, then you should hire a freight forwarder. But again, if this is the first time you're buying, I would just say stick to DDP terms. Just a little basic understanding of how it works is manufacturer produces, they give it to the shipping company in let's say Thailand. Uh, Thailand then loads that shipping container into a boat. The boat goes into the port of the USA. The USA clears the port. You, you know, whoever needs to pay the taxes pays for the taxes to clear. And then a freight company, a domestic trucking company picks up that con container and ships it to you. And so that's the, basically how, how the supply chain works. And so that's it guys. I mean, it's not that hard. Um, again, these are all the tips I have for you. I'm doing this video because a lot of people reach out to me. Uh, they want to do business. And instead of explaining this over and over and over and over like a hundred times already, I feel I'm just going to refer people to this video, watch this video of how it works. And then uh, we can start working with the Excel sheet, right? So if I refer you to this video, Again, just know that now you can go into that Excel sheet, start filling in your, your order, and then you can send your order because you know how, how everything, you know, all the details and all the tips. So um, again, it's not hard. Uh, really, it's knowing about who to buy from, make sure that the quality is good. And again, if you're interested in buying some containers, feel free to click on the link below, reach out to me via LinkedIn and Instagram. Don't forget to smash that like button. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.